Hi, this is Vince at Discount Inboard Marine. Uh, we're going to do a quick video here, fairly quick, on how to remove a transmission from a direct drive boat. We'll use this test engine that we have on a stand so you can kind of see everything that we're doing. makes it a little bit easier. So we're going to start by taking the drive shaft off of the transmission from the coupler and then we're going to take the transmission cooler and bracket off of the bolt that holds it to the bell housing and take our water hoses off and the shift lever uh, connection and then at that point it's basically just remove the bolts and then we'll get to the point where we disconnect it from the mount. We're going to start by removing the transmission coupler. It takes a 9 16 inch open end wrench and a 9 16 inch wrench to hold the bolt and we'll take those out. And you just slide your drive shaft back as far back as you can get it before it hits the shaft log. So that'll be out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is take our water hoses off, that's your water feed from the bottom of the boat and the feed to the raw water pump. I like to keep a little container for all my nuts, bolts, and screws so I don't lose them. So we're going to pull these off. This bracket right here usually attaches right to the bell housing. So we're going to take the transmission cooler and bracket off of the bell housing. So when we pull the transmission, we're going to pull everything at once and that way we won't get transmission fluid all over the boat. Then we're going to go ahead and disconnect our neutral safety switch and our shift cable connector right here. That's just a simple cotter pin that comes out and then you can get your shift cable out of the way. Now we're ready to get the motor mounts loose so what we're going to do is actually jack up the back of the engine and as you can see we've got a little bottle jack right here that goes underneath the exhaust manifold and we're going to start by loosening these trunnion bolts. We're going to use an 11 16 inch ratchet and socket and you want to loosen up this nut right here. This is called a trunnion pin lock. Once you get this loose, you'll see that it's still locked up. So what you want to do, I like to back that nut up level with the bolt and then you take a little hammer and just knock it loose. And you'll see now that it's loosened up, you can move it back and forth. There's no head on this, it's just a stud and inside this uh, trunnion this stud is dished a little bit so when you tighten the nut up it tightens up on the stud. This will allow us to rock the engine on these front mounts and we'll do the other side the same way. Action. Okay now we're going to take our jack and we're going to jack up the back of the engine and just enough pressure to take the pressure off of these bolts that go right into the transmission housing, the motor mount bolts. So once you got the pressure off, that'll hold that'll hold everything in place and we can go ahead and take these bolts out. So now the motor mount bolts are taken out of the transmission housing. Everything's loose. Nothing's connected as far as wires or cables. And we're ready to jack up the engine so we can clear these mounts. And that will also clear the uh, drive shaft coupler. Sometimes you might have to take your exhaust hoses off. Uh, in most cases when I've done this, I have not had to do that. Uh, you'll just have to see how your exhaust is set up and if you have enough play in the hose where you don't have to remove it. As you can see, we're coming up. You can 
units. You can slide these back. Now, on these particular motor mounts, there's a locking nut right here. And that locking nut will have to be loosened up to be able to swivel that mount out of the way. And the only way that I have found to do that is you take a chisel, you put it right on the edge of the nut, and you give it a whack. That will loosen the nut. Should allow you to swivel the mount. If it doesn't, we'll just jack it up a little more. Now we're ready to take the bolts out that hold the transmission to the bell housing. And one thing I found that works pretty well is, especially on the bottom bolts, there's four bolts that hold this particular transmission on. You take out the two bottom bolts, and you can use a stud, looks something like this. You screw the stud in on the bottom, and then when you take the top bolts out, you've got something to support the transmission when you pull it back. I already have two studs in the bottom bolt holes. These also take a uh, 5 8 inch wrench to get these bolts out, so now we'll go ahead and pull those out. Okay, we've got our bolt loosened up. You want to be careful, there's a little notch right here. Uh, I was using a, a ratchet, a power ratchet. Uh, it gets a little tight and sometimes you won't have enough room to get the ratchet out. So just be aware of that. Sometimes a wrench works better. We'll go ahead and get the other side. Okay, we've got our two studs on the bottom, two bolts. We just took our top bolts out and now we're ready to pull. You want to pull this transmission as straight back as you can so you don't bend anything in the damper plate and we'll get into that as we go. You can see that this engine is almost neutrally balanced, so you want to be careful you don't knock your jack out of, out of place. Okay. Another reason I like to keep these hoses on, it gives me something to grab onto when I pull the transmission out. Okay, that's how hard it is to pull a transmission out of a direct drive boat. Uh, if you have to rebuild it or check your damper plate, uh, Whatever reason you need to pull the transmission, that's the way to do it. You just reverse that same process, putting it back in, and because you did not move your motor mounts here, just swiveled them back and forth, when you go back in, your engine alignment should be right about where it was, but you still want to check engine alignment. That's real important anytime you do a major uh, piece of work on your transmission. This is Vince at Discounting Board Marine. Please feel free to give me a call if you have any questions. 803-345-0996. I'm extension 3. And thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it.